back to another one take tutorial. This one is going to be the second part of exec windows and what we can use them for. This is a relatively new feature and I think very unused feature of Magic Q. Um, and what its use is, is to combat the, the main complaint that people seem to have. And I was one of those people included that when you're just using a PC wing or a console on its own without any extensions on it, 10 playbacks just is not enough um, for even the smallest of shows. And here's a perfect example that I'm using four spots, uh, three blight. And you can see a lot of things in the patch, but that's because I had lots of generic channels because patches were getting moved around and things. So I just patched all the entire dimmer rather than what the lights are. Um, and over patched the system for if I had to return it back another day, but it was literally just uh, four, possibly five spots, four wash heads, three blinders, and maybe some par leads here and there. And there's nothing really here. And while you can see a lot in the visualizers, there's not much being used on stage. So even then, my 10 playbacks can get filled up quite quickly. So the way to get around this is uh, there's a like I say a relatively new feature where if in exec window one you create a ten by two grid and then here in setup we go to the playback window and down here near the very bottom it says playback go pause uses exec grid one. Well, what does that mean? Well, if we look down here in these info boxes, there's three things written. Uh, the first thing written. Uh, at the top is what the playback actually is. So in this case, Thegas, which is Spanish for blinders, uh, a video. I had a video technician that had to light up at a certain moment of the night, and some generics, which are really just audience lighting, and my wash lights and spots and so on. Then underneath these is what's in the play uh, icon uh, uh, button. So if I put here the spots up. So I'd set here some looks. So these are all gobos, uh, statics, and then there's some rotating ones, and so on. And a little spot. Uh, and then down the bottom is what's in the pause. So I had the here's a strobe, uh, blinders again as a as a button, and uh, that's an RGB chase for uh, the wash lights. So they're generally static, but then I could do the the typical. Explosion in a paint, pa paint factory color change and some focus information. Uh, uh, yep, these these two. I'll, I'll go through the exit window actually and be quicker. Um, so as you can see, all these are set up exactly to do as we want. So these um, global looks are all flashes, which if you remember from the first tutorial, you set here on the right hand side and soft button E. Um, because we're literally just pressing that and want it to release because once the once the global set that's it, it's done. Uh, I've forgotten what this is. Ah, that's another global look that I forgot about. And the last one's more gobos. Uh, the reason these are separated because in this fixture it's got two gobo wheels. So these were actually all from gobo wheel one and this is gobo wheel two. So they had different focuses as well. So I was reminding myself to add in here in this in this, which is as if it were a submaster, it's a memory, it's got the gobo and the focus level and the rotation level, whereas these also have gobo and a different focus level. So it was reminding me so that the ones on the left are focus one down here and the ones on the right are focus two. I didn't really need these at hand, but I kept them just in case I made any mistakes. So imagine I pulled that and the focus information went there, I could quickly jab it to make sure it focused again. And here's the open and so on. Now, the reason I've got nothing here in these four is because if you see these two submasters are actually uh, Q stacks with a few different cases. So myself here, I've got in in whether it's the spots or the wash, I've got one which is solid on, two which is just an odd even chase, and then some other sort of chase. I can't remember what I did, and then some more. And all these go from the master go tap to time. Uh, is the way I like to work, and the same with the washes, so quick on off, and again, I always use number one as solid on. But the more, what's more important in the exec window, anytime you use it where there's a Q stack with uh, various stages, um, doesn't matter if you put anything here, it's only going to show these 
so that you can see all the steps and use the, the pause and play buttons to get through the stack. Um, so if you fill all your playbacks with Q stacks like this, you're not going to actually end up with that many places you can use. So at the moment, the only space I've got available to use left is this one. However, it does mean, like I say, this, uh, when there's certain playbacks like here, a flyout, which is just that, it means down here at the bottom I can put all the gobos I want to put. Um, here the tilt chase, which it's always going to be tilt, and here's a circle just for laziness. Again, they're not they're nothing doing other than vary size. So they're never going to be anything other than that. So I can have all these gobos ready to go and it, and easy to and again, like say these generics for walk ins and where we're just adding a time, and what we were using that for is just adding a time. The, the client wanted the stage specifically dark, so I might have only had the intensity set to there. They just wanted a tiny little bit of light to highlight the skin tones and so on. So it means that, yeah, I've got these positions ready to use for other things. And again, the while you've got your blinders here on a fader and down here in the flash, I could also have them here, and it work, will work just like a flash key. Down there, and the same with the strobe. So uh, the reason I put them two together, even though I've already got them here as well, is that with one finger I can do flash and do the blind and strobe effects. You know, with two fingers beside each other, going tip tap, tip tap, tip tap, or whatever I wanted to do. To be honest, this was quite. It was probably about a year ago now. I can't remember. But anyway, I uh, hope that was useful. Like I say, it adds another. Uh, another aspect of what you can do with your console and your wings um, and it definitely expands how many things you can have on, on your keys, uh, on your fingertips which is where we all like to have these kind of things um, and as I say the only the only restrictions are it has to be 10 by 2 because that's how many buttons there physically are it has to be on grid 1 so grid 2 I could have used for more exec stuff but I had everything I needed here for a, a sh short one hour show that it was never going to do it again and it ha and you just have to go down here into the settings and set it all right thanks for watching